so we I never did an intro for this video and um, today's video is gonna be a pretty little a pretty little thing haul I think it is yeah, a pretty little thing haul um, of some things I got at during Black Friday. I know I'm a little bit delayed. Uh, it took me a while to kind of get down to actually film it. Um, but I'm going to go through, I'm going to kind of do a comparison. You'll see this video now and then I'll do another one next week of, oh, or maybe it might be midweek. I might show you um, or put it up early. Um, I'm kind of comparing it to some purchases that I got from Misguided as well. Um, pretty little thing was a bit of a... <laughs> so I'll show you what way I reacted kind of in a way of what I rate it in a, in a sense. Like to regards to quality and um, how it looks on me or maybe it might look different on other people. But um, if you like these kind of try on videos or if you like Pretty Little Thing itself and you want to kind of see... How, what I think of it please keep on watching and I'll give you my sense a review of what I think of it so let's get on to the haul and hope you all enjoy and don't forget to like and subscribe don't forget about that thank you let's go if you want me to back with another haul. Oh, I look very fresh faced as you can see. I am, um, I am. I'm going to do a haul, um, something a little bit more chilled as you can see by my attire. Um, just cause to be honest when you get clothes in through the, from the postman, do you really look like you've got a uh, full face makeup on? Not really, so we're just gonna do this whole chill effect so and see how it goes. But um yeah, so I'm gonna be doing a haul of a my oh it's actually my address. I won't be showing that side. Um but this is a pretty little thing haul um of some stuff that I did pick up. Um and I'm gonna just go through some of the bits that I got um and then we'll kind of see what the quality is like we'll see what the price and range and all that is kind of like i did get some of these bits actually um during like the black friday week and um, but it's taken me this long to do it so that's how productive i am and um, now i've got excuses i was away and all that crap so um but i'm gonna go through all the stuff um now i have tried on some of the stuff already and let's get into this the quality okay so i'm gonna start by just showing you kind of the bits and then trying it on so let's just do straight out of the bag i'll show you what i got so the first thing i picked up was this um brown bodysuit and um, now it is inside out because i did wear it already let me just flick it around so it's this uh brown bodysuit gorgeous brown color um, I'm feeling the whole brown tones at the moment and the tan vibe. So I picked this up. It just has like the um, turtle or kettle neck. Well, no, not kettle neck. Kettle neck would be different. Yeah, so like the turtle neck kind of um, vibe on it. Um, straight down bodysuit. Now, I've always heard kind of mixed reviews on the bodysuits and Pretty Little Thing. Either they're too long on the, the body or they're too short. And <laughs> this is too short. Um, but it's still like it's fine, but it's very hard. And I don't have a really long do I have a long enough torso but um I find it is quite tight and like quite tight um but I'm just going to try it on and show you what it looks like and kind of give you an idea of what I'm talking about well I obviously won't be showing you my bum but you'll know I mean I it kind of you can kind of see how kind of stretched out it kind of looks um, I'm not going to pair these into like outfits and stuff. It's kind of, as I said, it's going to be a little bit more chilled and stuff. So um, I'll go through all the bits with you. So, so I'm giving you it so for one package. Um, I look like a little chocolate croissant. Um, but this is the um, turtleneck um, brown bodysuit. Um, this one actually is showing up quite see-through on the, 
the monitor there. Um, as I said, this is the quite tight one. As you can see, do you know the way you, you find when uh, stuff doesn't kind of sit on your body properly, but kind of gape, it kind of like stretches slightly here. And um, that's what I mean by the whole this region here is a little bit tight. Um, other than that, like all around this kind of area is fine. It's just like around this, the booty area isn't the most flattering or the the nicest kind of feeling. Um, and as well I have on the little A-line um, satin skirt. I am obsessed with this. I just think this is so cute. I could imagine this like literally with, with chocolate tan like and just, oh, gorgeous. I just think it's so flattering on. I don't know what it is. It's like, it goes just um, down just kind of probably about that much above the knee. It, that's the length of it. So, um but I'm obsessed and it's so, I think it's so nice on. It's just, it breaks it up. But the difference between like a, like a normal standard airline skirt, which it would be a denim one or plaid or whatever it is that you're going to be. Like I think the satin ones are just gorgeous. They're just real sexy or something. But um, yeah, looking like a little French croissant. Croissant. <laughs> but yeah, I just love this. I'm really, I like, I think I could wear this together. So the next, thing I picked up and um, now I actually never said what size I got that in a size 8 and um, so it was like it's my regular size so I don't understand why it wouldn't fit and um, the price on that when I did get it in the Black Friday sale it did work out at yeah, so it worked out at 12 euro so not like it's not very thick and it's not very it's kind of on the tin side, but it's like, it's not see-through, which is good. So, 12 euro isn't bad. I, like, not amazing, but it's not bad. Um, the next thing I picked up was this. Some other stuff I didn't try on, but I picked up this chocolate one-shoulder bodysuit. Um, now, this one. Let's talk about this one. So... I got this, um, now I have tried this on already, let me just check the price on this, oh one shoulder body suit, it was 10 euro, so not bad, it's grand, not a bad price, this was in a size 8 as well, yeah size 8 as well, just kind of goes like this, gorgeous brown colour again very much like a rich kind of brown uh, shade now hmm, the quality on this is very like you could get something like this in pennies it's very very flimsy and um, very flimsy not really much to it quite a tin in material as well and I don't know if I will keep this I actually haven't tried have I tried this on I actually don't know if I tried this on but I'll show you anyways what it looks like when I put it on um, and I'm not mad like not mad about the quality on this but I'll try it on and show you what it looks like and you can kind of see for yourself how it kind of fares out and um, but I do love the colour on this I really like the brown shades like they go with a, like so much stuff now at, um for this season it's really in so I'm really excited to wear like all the brown like I got so much brown stuff I'm kind of obsessed but I'll try that on and show you what it looks like so this is the brown uh one shoulder bodysuit um I feel like everything is looking a lot better with tan. I don't know what it is. <laughs> now, like, my tan is, like, gone. It's gone to shine now at the moment. But anyways, we'll just step that aside. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I just, they're looking a lot nicer than now it is. I don't know. You could probably see that. It is quite um, see-through. I don't know. I can kind of see a little bit of a reflection of my boob area on the um, on the screen or on the monitor. Um but I don't know, I, lo I love the shape of this, uh, it just, I think it's real, real flattering or something. Um, this would just be so nice with anything really. Um, you could wear this with like a pair of like leggings or wear it with a pair of joggers. Um, now it is very like, it drops a lot, like so I don't know, maybe it's better for someone who uh, maybe has a smaller bust area. I'm not saying that I have a big boob, I don't have big boobs but... It just the way it's sitting on me it kind of is dropping slightly like my my nipple to like thing ratio is literally like that <laughs> so um 
I do like it. I don't know. It's just the the material's not great. But for ten euro, really, what? It's not really too bad, to be honest. So I give this like a maybe like a six out of ten. The rest I kind of give about maybe a seven at the moment. And we'll see how the rest get on. But yeah, next thing I picked up, I went into the Illuminous Vibes, like the Kim K Vibes. Um, and I picked up two um, two turtleneck, a luminous turtlenecks. So one in pink and one in a uh, luminous green. Um, I love these. These are amazing quality. Um, I tried these on already. They're quite like a tight fit. So even if you aren't mad about like um, just normal tops, like you rather like body suits and stuff, you'll kind of you'll still love these because they're really tight fit into the skin even though I know a lot of people like it that it goes kind of straight down and under the booty area um, but I love these these are gorgeous and really really thick quality um, I'll show you in the, the try on anyways what it looks like but it's such good I don't know what it is it's just a lot thicker than maybe it's because it's ribbed but I don't know it just is really, really nice, I have to say. And now the neck on it is quite, it is quite long. So like that's the length of the, the turtle kind of neck part of it. But I don't mind. And I really like this. Now it is, if you are size A, this is a size A and it's, it is quite tight. But I like that. I don't really mind if it's too tight. But if you are kind of in between like an 8 and a 10, I probably would size up on it. Because I just think they might they run a little bit small because like look how tiny that kind of looks and even the arms like like minuscule but i'll try that on and i'll show you and it's just kind of the normal top length just like that um but i'm obsessed with the color like that that just goes with everything like just leather leggings um well no not leather leggings like leather pants like um like tucked into leather uh like jean trousers or even with jeans and stuff like that or mom jeans that'd be fab so, especially with that green one oh i'm obsessed that green color is just like my favorite at the moment i just think it compliments anyone and um, so i'm going to try both of those on and i'll show you kind of what they look like as well now both of those i did get a size eight as well um and they were a price of a 10 euro as well. So I think 10 euro is well worth it for these, 100%. And um, the other ones, not so much. But um, I'll show you the rest anyways. So this is the Illuminous Turtleneck. As I said, remember I was saying there was a lot of like material along here. This is quite tight around the neck. Um, so if you have a big neck like me, maybe you should steer away from this um but it is quite like tight you really should be like you feel like you're been choked or something um but yeah imagine this is like a dress like that actually just looks like a dress on me oh my god imagine that as a dress just like oh yeah kim k vibes but well, i am obsessed with this and as i remember i was telling you the way it kind of goes just so tight along the body like just like it just looks so nice with a pair of um leather pants or a pair of jeans or whatever and um, but i love this i'm obsessed i don't know if i'm going to try on the pink one because it's just very hard to get on and my head is quite tender at the moment <laughs> not not in that way but you know um but yeah i'm obsessed with this like this is just so like gold makes the arms look so thin oh, just, like, love it yeah this is so the next thing that I, shock horror again not something else that's brown um i got this chocolate button front long sleeve it's kind of one of those how to explain it? it's like one of those kind of um i'll show you anyways i'll actually show you this because it's hard to explain i just thought this looked fab and i seen like uh sophie and chintzy are wearing these kind of tops um I don't know maybe it's just me or they just don't suit me or something but I find these like when you have them on I find they like they gape a lot and um, so do you know the way when they come across when you have it all buttoned up now it is quite it's a really nice material it's double lined and everything now there is like kind of I don't know if this annoys some people but it kind of annoys me in a way the tread there's like little excess bits of tread just everywhere I don't know why um, but I find when you have this on, like this is my normal size, size 8, 
everywhere fits perfect but when I button it up it's like do you know it kind of gapes slightly and it kind of shows like like a little hole I hate that like I, I was hoping it wouldn't be like that but and even if I, I feel like if I did size up it's going to be too big so I'll try that on anyways the quality is quite good it, it's still a little bit I think the front part of it is it's actually a thicker material than the back so it's actually double lined on the front but not on the back which is pointless why um but this one was in a size 10 or size 10 in a size 8 as well and I got this and this was over there 12 euro so not bad but I just I'm not mad on it I'd probably wouldn't wear this I think this is just going to be this will be really nice as I said I've seen on so many people and it looks amazing on them and I'm so enraged and it actually doesn't look nice on and um, but I just thought this would be nice with like either like like a pair of like tan joggers or like um a pair of jeans or something like that I always see them as I said on like Sophia and Chintzia or um Sarah Jo Holder she always kind of has this kind of like style of top on but not for me but you'll see in the picture anyways and I'll show you kind of what it looks like um okay so this is the button up brown um crop this is what I mean see this whole like gaping and like this was a size 8 as I said in the previous ones like everything's kind of fit really well um on this it's like so much excess material on the arms I know like a lot of people like the kind of longer arm uh, which is perfect but I don't know it's just so much like so much excess material here um gapes here um and it's just like I'd say if I even like if I went up a size if I didn't want all this kind of gapage or like gaping it just still would like it's still showing too much like I'm not I'm not feeling this at all um although like the front part of it is like really really good material um and like it, it probably could look nice but I just not it's not for me I just like and literally it's like it's so close to like literally like like everything would just be out on the floor so no this is definitely like a 2 out of 10 or something 100% like although like this front material is really good and there's too much material along the arms uh, very thin material at the back like i don't know it could suit something different someone else but it's not for me so sorry about that that was a little bit of a hmm yes i actually got this little skirt now i don't know how it's gonna look on me i did actually try it on already um and it's just this little brown satin um skirt kind of a-line shaped um and like on a, on the mini side but it kind of it doesn't go too mini i find because it kind of um has a bit of a dip at the back so it's not too like it doesn't go under like show your bum or anything like that i am obsessed with this i just think this is gonna look gorgeous it's ma imagine that with like a pair of like and um, tie like even knee higher tie high boots or even the ones that go below the knee i think they would just be gorgeous with this um, and like a nice knitted jumper or something um but this is actually true definitely true to size and i got this in a size um eight as well um i just i just think this is beautiful oh i love the color of that um but this was only 12 euro as well and i think not bad um i do really like it and I think I will, I'm going to try and get into wearing kind of more skirts. And if you are slightly apprehensive as to whether or not it kind of is a little bit more of a, um, like a tight fit. Um, it doesn't have much give in regards to like the actual material of it itself. But along the waist it does actually have like an elasticated waistband. So um, it's not all the way around kind of tight. So you kind of do have a bit of give in it there. So I won't worry too much if you are like a size maybe eight to ten i definitely would go for an eight in it because i think it definitely um it would fit anyone of that size but i love that i actually really really can't wait to wear that um this. so i have three more things to go through so i got a did i get that same no i didn't actually where are those They should be in that one, maybe they're not. Where are they? Um, I picked up two of the same kind of style bodysuits. 
um, I'm obsessed with this kind of um, this style of bodysuit at the moment. I haven't wore this one yet either. Um, now it is on the a bit of the larger size. I find um, I would advise going maybe down a size in this uh, style of bodysuit. Sorry, just something in my eye. Um, this is quite good quality. Um, not bad. Still a little bit see through. Very plungy as well. So. I don't know if you can wear a um, bra with this, but it's kind of, it's very wide or something. And I'm, I don't know, I'm not mad on it. I really am not um, And it goes down into a tongue, like a tongue bodysuit. So, and it's a very, like, there's so much material. Like, why? Like, it's one extreme to the next. It's, like, hilarious. Um, but this kind of just shows, like, the difference between, like, you've got one... Like, and there we go again. Like, look at them. I just don't understand. Like, look at all the thread and stuff hanging out of this. Like, like I know you're only paying, what, the guts are, like, 15 euro for it. Now, that was discounted. So, before that, probably was 18. So, I don't know. But this, um, this is the bodysuit I got. I got it in the camel colour. And I also got it in the, I think I got it in the black, actually. The black yeah, I picked it up in the black as well. So I'll show you both of these and um, what they look like on. There we go. Tread. Hanging out all over the place. Um, got this one as well. The black one. Um, I do really like these. And these are just going to... They are going to look really, really nice with like joggers and jeans and stuff like that. But just the, the mishap of the length of the... This like why. But anyways, we will try it on. And we will see what it looks like on me. So this is the bodysuit. Um, as you can see, it is very clavicle and chesticle out, as Patricia Bright would say. Um, I was expecting it to be more so like maybe in just like maybe there. So like it just gives a little something, something like kind of thing. But yeah, it's kind of like nipples to the wind. So, like, my nips are here. You can probably see them, but... Now, it does look quite nice with a tan, I have to say. As you can see, like, my tan is slightly a little bit scaldy at the moment, but... I don't know, I think it just... I don't know, maybe it does look nice. I don't know. I do actually like it. <laughs> I'm, like, changing my own mind now at the moment. Um. Yeah, I don't know. It's not bad, like it is nice. Um not too see through as I said, it'd be lovely with a pair of like jeans or just joggers and stuff like that. Um now I don't know for this time of year, maybe you'd want to be covering up a little bit more, put on a fur jacket or something and just have the nips hanging. Um but yeah, I don't know. I just I think I do like it. I just don't know about how much boobage I want to be showing. If you know what I mean. I'll show you the black one as well. And so this is the black one. I still agree with what I had said about the whole um, length of this part of the bodysuit because I feel like it is very, very long. Like there's so much excess material, like I just don't understand. I find like this one's a little bit more gappy or something, or it's a little bit looser I find than the other one. Um, maybe it's just me, but I don't know, I still do like it. I just don't know about this. It's very open on the table. Um, but yeah, I don't know, I do like it. I just, I don't know. I'm still kind of deciding, but pretty little thing. If you're gonna make something, um, could you not even make it like maybe something like there or something and then have it going? Because I feel like not everyone wants to have all that out. Just a little input. But, um, yeah, I do like it. I don't know. I don't know whether to keep it or not. I'm still in between. Um, but, yeah, it's it's quite a nice, nice top, depending on how much boob you like to show. So, yeah, this is it. Now, the last two things I picked up. I do like a pair of brown things as well. <laughs> these are hilarious. Literally hilarious. I got these in the shapewear um, section. So, I was like... These are going to look unreal on, like, so I'm going to love these because I was mad to get a pair of these, like, vinyl leggings. Um, I know they're hit and miss with some people. Um, 
but I just thought these are gonna look unreal. Little did I think, but like even the smell of them is disgusting. I don't know what it is. Like look at the length of that. I know like, I understand like people love like a high waist on uh, pants and stuff. And I was expecting, like these are just a standard size eight. And it like has this weird um kind of line didn't show that on the on the website either has a zip at the back i presume that's quite it is quite good maybe you're meant to like size down but even like the top part is so big and i can barely even get the this part up my legs and this is meant to be from the shape section so you're expecting it to be like a case of catering to people who have like bigger thighs and stuff like that and a smaller waist but it doesn't seem like that um I just that smell of the <laughs> the smell is like killing me um but they're just like so long on the like the crotch area and you it's it, they're just so hard to get on I don't it there's not really much more I can say I'll, I'll show you what they look like on and you'll actually have a laugh at me but um no they're a hundred percent going back and I can't like they just no not happen and stuff, everything stuck to me. So I'm just after panning you down slightly to show you the ridiculousness of these pants. You aren't actually ready because I look like Ross at Friends when you know when he's trying to actually put the pet. Just look at them, please. I don't know if maybe it's my shape or something, but oh my god, look at this! I can't get them up anymore. And like these are size eight, like these are this, my size. Like I don't know. <laughs> God, these are so embarrassing. Like, what? Like, and even your ass is like flat as a pancake. These are just horrific. They won't even go up anymore. Like, I can't get them up anymore. And that's how much, like, my vagina area is here. And that's how much material there is all the way down there. Like, and they're already as high waisted, really, as you'd kind of want them. Like what they're gonna literally if I have them up any more than that, they're gonna literally be up to there, up to my boobs. So I don't know what they were what they were doing when they made these, because they are horrific. Do not buy these because <laughs> you'll literally be like like this trying to get them on, like literally like because <laughs> they're not flattering at all. Oh my god, like I can't. And if you actually see an ankle on them, they're down up underneath my um, my foot as well because I can't physically get them on, and I don't think I can bother really either because they're just they're just horrible. I just wouldn't buy them at all. I wouldn't recommend them. Like, and these are recommended for shape shape from the Sheila from the shape collection. Sorry, what the shape collection? Um, I don't think so, love, because imagine you trying to put these on if you have a bit of a uh, bum or a thing. Like, I have not even much of a bum. I have ties, but good lord of almighty, I don't know how anyone would even try and get these on. You'd want to literally be nothing to try and get these on, but I don't know. That's just my opinion. So if you want to buy them yourself, you can. That's no problem, but I don't like them. So these are an absolute minus zero out of ten. <laughs> And that's it, definite. After that long delay, these pants, I'm after ripping my house to shreds and they were sitting on my bed underneath clothes. Oh, I swear I'm cracking up, I'm crap, cracking up all together. So, the last thing I got was these gorge colour faux leather, um, sorry for the crackling noise. Uh, faux leather straight leg pants they're like these they are a beautiful color so beautiful these are in a size eight um, and they fit really nicely they have like a popper a popper button they don't actually have like a actual button itself and then just a zip detail and they go straight down on the leg and they have kind of like a pleated detail just along the front um, I do love these. Uh, I'm still in between whether or not I'm going to keep them or not, but I'll show them on and show you uh, what they look like um, and give you an idea. So, yeah. So, I am in between two minds about these pants. 
Um, they fit really nice. There's just a lot of like baggy bagginess around this area here. Um, and, but they fit really nice around the waist. Like they're perfect along the waist. I don't know if they're meant to kind of be like that. But it seems like there's just a lot of like gabby. Ga gabby? Uh, gappiness or like a lot of excess. <laughs> pudge here um and they go kind of a little bit more of like a i don't know how i would even show this <laughs> my sock looks filthy there <laughs> um but yeah they kind of go a little bit they're like they go straight down but there is a lot of like flare kind of slightly along the ankle i was hoping they'd be a little bit more like on the tapered side um they're a gorgeous shade of brown like they are really really nice the only thing as well they don't have pockets and that's kind of irritating me slightly as well. And I don't know if you ate a lot, would it kind of just go pop open like, cause like there's not much holding it there like. So I don't know, I'm in between two minds in these. I do really like them, but I just don't know. They kind of make you look like you have a little bit of a, a pudge here, which I'm not a fan of. Um, I don't really want to accentuate that area too much, you know, um, but I don't know. I could probably find something nicer that is a little bit more kind of on the on the skinnier like tighter on the leg um wise and like not as baggy along here as well so i give these probably like a five out of ten max because they're not the best um but yeah i like them cute that was the end of the haul um hmm those types of hauls I really do enjoy and um, I haven't done a pretty little thing haul on my channel before so it was kind of a bit of a hmm, I'm not too sure if I'll really order stuff from there Um, I'm definitely feeling misguided a little bit better at the moment Um, the kind of pretty little thing I kind of hesitated on because I did buy some stuff off it before as I did say in the video I did buy some dresses off it for my auntie's wedding and I hated every single one of them so I don't know maybe they're slipping a little bit on their quality but I'm not feeling them as of yet I have kept a few of the bits and um, and then I kind of sent back some of them because I wasn't feeling them as much and I kind of knew I wasn't going to get any wear out of them so um yeah so that's kind of my review my five pence or my five cents or whatever that that saying is um on the whole pretty little thing kind of situation and um, i hope you enjoyed the video anyways um leave me your comments of maybe you thought the exact same about the part um the quality that's kind of dipped a little bit or you kind of prefer one company to another let me know because i might even review somewhere else if um, you feel somewhere is a little bit better and um, but yeah thanks for watching and i hope you enjoyed the video and don't forget like and subscribe down below and give it a little like as well if you can you know it's all free lads it is so uh you won't get charged for it so <laughs> but um yeah i hope you enjoyed and i'll see you in my next video thanks for watching bye bye